This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Netflix, and Bed Bath & Beyond, the Las Vegas edition. Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is Southern. It's Southern California, and I have fruit. You put zombie, and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello, and welcome to Dignation, episode number one eighty-eight. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Twitter.com slash Kevin Rose. Oh, really? Really? Right off the bat? <laughs> Twitter.com slash Alex Albrecht. You fucked me last week. I should have known this was coming. I know, I know. Uh, Dig Nation Kevin is something you have users of on the social bookmarking site, dig.com, that's D I with two G's.com. That's right, we're here still, we are back in uh, uh, San Francisco, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. very nice. It's always fun coming up here. Oh, I'm glad you're here. It's been cold. In LA? In LA and in here. Uh, I can tell you what the temperature is right now. Mm. No, I can't. I don't know how to use my widgets yet. This is. I restored my laptop, I, I say, formatted it and started yeah. from scratch. My real laptop is sitting over there. This is my Dignation laptop. Yep. Hard to explain. And I have yet to put uh, Windows 7 on this bad boy. But it's coming soon. Yes, it is. I'm very excited about that. Well, shall we get right into the show, my friend? Let's do it. All right, first story. This is a very interesting story, and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to spark an interesting conversation between us about Stop. <laughs> That's the second story. <laughs> Next story. <laughs> Next story of the day. <laughs> Next story of the day. What he's looking at. Uh, USA's worst food, Baskin Robbins chocolate Oreo milkshake. 2,255 people dug the story submitted by uh, Filio Strato. Men's Health Magazine has released its annual worst food list, scoring the top spot as the absolute worst food in the country, a large chocolate Oreo shake from Baskin Robbins. This bad boy has 2,600 calories, 135 grams of fat, 59 of which are saturated, 263 grams of sugar, and 1,700 milligrams of sodium. Insane. First off, have you ever had one of these? Breathtaking. They're amazing. They are amazing. They are damn good. I love Oreo shakes. I love Oreo shakes myself. I guess I will never have one again. <sighs> yeah. I mean, how can you, you know, <clears throat> how can you justify that? You can't really. You know, you can when you're younger, but when you get older, you, you, it goes right to your gut. Well, and the bottom line is, I mean, 2,600 calories is, I mean... A, a, a diet, a, a weight loss diet, like the diet I was on when I was doing the whole Jenny Craig thing was a 1,500 calorie a day like diet. Right, so this is and like that two of those. that wasn't even that, I mean, that wasn't even the severe kind. That was just the, well, you're exercising, you're, right. you know, you're not overweight. Well, we'll just put you on the sort of like slow and steady right. downward low go. But that's almost double this in one freaking shake. Well, the the thing that bothers me is the the saturated fat. Fifty nine grams of saturated fat. That is insane. So what's the deal with saturated fat? I'm I'm a guy who knows that that's a bad word. Right. But I don't. What is that? Well, Why is it bad? Typically saturated fat. Because you do fat, you you like eating healthy and you know about healthy food. Yeah, and, yeah totally. Fatty acids. Well, and t typically organo. saturated fat comes from from like meats, fatty meats, oh. and uh, in like this that, case, though. it's most likely coming from the uh, the milk that's in there. Interesting. Um, but it's it's known to be the kind of the artery clogging kind of nasty, uh. bad, not good for your fat. The worst fat, without a doubt, that is like just poison to your body that you should avoid at all costs and look on every single package to make sure it doesn't have it is the trans fats. The trans fats are those oils that have been changed and modified. Now they're just basically poison your body. They're linked to cancer. They're linked to diabetes. They're linked to like all these different things. Wow. And so much so that they, they're like, they made it a requirement now about two years ago. To get rid of that, them. Well, no, not to get rid of them, but that you have to list them. But then they do them. that in like in New York or something in like no, fast San food places where they you, say you, you have, have to get to, rid of them. No, you, yeah, San Francisco, I think. Or no, that was New York. It was New York. Yeah, yeah. Because the McDonald's was like, uh, that's what makes our fries taste good. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> They're like, I don't know about you, but uh, don't ever go to New York and eat McDonald's fries because they don't taste like They're McDonald's like cardboard. Fries. Yeah. Uh, no, but, but seriously, the... Um, 
Uh, you should always look on your packaging. It's also known as, um, if, if it, packaging doesn't list out the nutritional facts, mm -hmm. uh, partially hydrogenated oil is what you see. Like if you see like partially hydrogenated like uh, coconut oil or whatever it may be on the back, that's a trans fat. Wow, so that's yes. interesting. Here's the thing. I fight with this at times, which is I love sweet food. He, well, so do I. And I love quality sweet food. It's not about going and getting your Oreo nasty... Masta Blasty. Masta Blasty shake. It's about going down to the corner store uh, and getting like Ben and Jerry's, which is like all organic. Like, like if you look at the side of it, like they, you, you can tell the difference. If you hold up two tubs of ice cream side by side, one will say ingredients, eggs, <laughs> yeah. milk, milk, sugar, sugar. like yeah, just yeah, the, the yeah. basics, you know what I mean? Strawberry. Others is like, blah, 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 there's like 50 different things and you're like, what am I eating in this one? Artificial yeah. flavors and all this stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, ben and Jerry's, oh, I have, you know how many times I have gone and like watched a movie on the projector, sat there with the Ben and Jerry's and like some pizza <laughs> and dude. Have you tried the healthy pizza from Pizza Hut? The natural pizza? No. They have this whole big thing now where they have a natural I'm pizza. I'm not buying this. Put it up and it's- it, come. Yeah, and it's um, it's think, all like, I think our food's being here. I think here, here, here. Glenn, you might, knocking. Yeah, someone's knocking. Someone <laughs> is knocking. I'm, I'm here, nutrition? No, do a- Pizza Hut.com. Go to menu. Keep Go to menu. Dude, I doubt. They have a down down the natural pizza. Click the on it. The natural pizza, multi-grain crust, all natural pepperoni, sausage, all dude. All natural mozzarella, I'm not all natural this. sauce, vine ripened tomatoes. This is some marketing bullshit. Dude, well, but here's the thing, because pizza's tricky. Because I love pizza. Oh, dude. And I want to have pizza. You've all been the, the little time. star out here, right? I think we've done that a couple times, like after shows, drunk. white pizza. And oh yeah, that yeah. was good pizza. Um, man. Little Star in San Francisco, amazing. But it's one of those things where, oh, but dude. to order, like you do order Papa John's or Pizza Hut or Domino's, and you just know <coughs> when you're ordering it, it's one of those things where you're like, yo, let's, let's get pizza. And everybody in the whole room knows they're gonna be eating poorly. Right. <laughs> right, everybody's like, yeah, that sounds fun. Oh I man, know, we're all know, fucking eating right today. I know. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like this feeling in your you gut. You know it. It's this feeling in your gut, you're like, yeah, it's awesome. Well, oh, fuck. this is really bad for it's me, really but bad. fuck it. It's just right now, we're doing it. Yeah, you know totally. What I mean? So it behooves people like Pizza Hut to be able to be like, let's order a natural pizza from Pizza Hut if it does do it where you're like, okay, I don't feel like I'm, you know, yeah, but I don't know if this is, I would rather go to Whole Foods and get a natural pizza than I would. Well, but what if, let's just say you got the nutritional information about that and it was organic wheat, you know, natural crust and it was, you know, no trans fat, fatty, oily stuff. Right. They have their printable nutrition guide. Here yeah, we let's, go. Yeah, let's open it up. See what, okay. Here we go. Medium, medium, medium. All delicious. natural. No, the natural pizza, go down. Who's that? Natural okay. pizza, here we go. So what do we got? I don't know what the thing top things are. Let's top find. things are calories, calories, calories from fat, trans fat, trans, trans fat. fat is the only thing you. The good news is that, yeah, that zero 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 all the, the way board, down. Pizza Hut has made everything. Oh, you got a little bit of trans fat in there, meat lovers. You should have absolutely none. Even if it says 0.5, you're like, yeah. wow, 0.5, that's nothing. None. You want absolutely none in your Well, but go back diet. up because, I mean, the thing that we want to look at is the... The meaty pastas. Yeah, they have a few things that have trans fat, but for the most part, the natural <laughs> pizza does not, which is good. But the natural pizza, it looks like one slice of all-natural pepperoni. Is, is it really 250 calories? Where do you see the natural again? The natural, all be one slice. I mean, it's 230 cal. 230 calories for a slice. Well, that's not that bad. It's. Well, it's not dude, great. At but the end of the day, it's pizza. You know, you, so, none of them are actually that much different. I don't. Anyway. I don't really even like look. If you're eating pizza, you're eating pizza. If you're eating ice that's cream, that's what I'm saying. Cream, like, you know, you're fucked the, up. The way I do it, is, I'm not like, oh, 230 calories. Let me write that down. You know, in my yeah, journal. Yeah, yeah. It's like <clears throat> I'm gonna have pizza. I'll try and make it the healthiest I possibly can. Right. I'm like a little few pieces of pepperoni. Ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. And then if it's gonna be ice cream, get the healthiest version of the ice cream. So you're not going to Baskin Robbins and getting yourself an Oreo blast no. milkshake. I, you know, Tim Ferriss. Yeah. I, one of the things I really like about him is he has this great thing. He's healthy as can be throughout the entire week, one day a week, every Sunday, he goes out and eats anything he wants. Cool. That, that sounds like a good compromise to me. That's actually really good. That's really smart. Yeah. 
Um, the story of John, of like Baskin Robbins and John Robbins, the son. No, no. But like he, he, his dad wanted to give him the family business, and he didn't want anything to. No do way. Him. Really. Healthy it was. Wow. wow. Uncle had like triple bypass surgery. Oh, I heard about that. Oh, interesting. The Food Revolution is like a super crazy good book. Yeah, wow, I read. Revolution? I read the Food Revolution actually. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, well, I, the son of Baskin Robbins. No, maybe That's I didn't read the Food Revolution. I think you read Revolutionary Food. Oh, uh, you know what? You should read, which you probably haven't. Maybe you have. Um, the uh, food book. The one that the uh, food book. Fast Food Nation. I have not read that yet. Oh, go pick up Fast Food Nation. I will. I will. It's so good. And speaking of what You'll is good, you'll never eat fast food again after you read Fast Food Nation. I don't know. Nation. I saw what supersized me, and I went out and got a Big Mac. No, so. no. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I fucking love me some Big Mac. I don't. This is the thing. Read Here's Fascination. Here's the thing. But let me just it's tell you about, the about this. It's about the, how they're treating the employees and how they have all these illegal immigrants that they're basically working for dirt. It's really okay. a bad industry all around. Okay, I agree. However, my retort. Cow brains. My retort, even about cow brains. Honestly, I will eat fucking monkey testicles if it tastes like a Big Mac. Right? For some reason, those Big Macs, ever since I was a kid, Fucking love those Big Macs. I'm on right now. You know, stuff's coming out that they have ingredients in there that trick your brain to like getting addicted to them. That yeah. might be what it is. It is. They put all these artificial flavorings and things that trick your brain and get you all. Dude, yeah. read it, read it, read Fast Food Nation. I'm, I'm so reading good. it. Have all you right. read it? I've read that. Okay, we gotta read it. Okay. All right, speaking of really, really good things. <laughs> you read it? What were you? Wait. All right. All what, right. Was, what were you looking at? I saw a lot of like oh, pretty girls. Next and story. Stuff. Okay. Next story of the day, with 1,764 digs submitted by Bix by One, Ask Men's Top 10 Women of 2009. Oh, Starting yeah. at 99, Christina Aguilera. Oh, starting out with number nine. Oh, we're oh, starting at 99. Huh. Number 99. Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Not bad. I agree. She was naked as all fuck in that uh, movie, The Reader. Like, full I'm gonna on say, naked pounding. Oh, so-so. Who is this? How do you know who these people are? Go down. Is that who that person no, is? No, go down. Wait, go up. January Jones. Never heard of her. Kind of cute, I guess. Yeah, I'm cute. Cute enough. Uh, Tina Fey. I don't Tina find Fey. Tina Fey attractive at all. at all. Me neither. All right. Consensus. Okay. You went past her name. Uh, Anna, Anna, Anna Ivanovich. Ivanovich. Anna Ivanovich uh, is, uh, I think, just a model chick. I don't know. Go on next. Let me see one more picture of Anna Ivanovich. She, she was on like, kind of like, I need to name the picture to make sure. Yeah, They're not going to show it to you, so let's go. They're like making you sign up. Um, Elizabeth Banks. I agree. She's pretty hottie. Are we just not Prayer, Are you it? downloading Torrents? Yeah. Who's doing some shit? I think I might be doing I'm not doing shit. I got my thing. Yeah. Someone, is, is anybody surfing or downloading large amounts of... What are you doing? Oh, she's you. nasty. Who is that? Sophie Monk. I've never heard of her, and she number, does. Number, she is not all that Number attractive. 94. She's got a weird, she looks like a lamprey. So does she. Emma Stone, not a fan, number 93. <laughs> Bless you. Alicia Keys, yeah, Alicia Keys, whatever, uh, I'm not. Uh, Getting a little disappointed. Danica Patrick, Danica Patrick, our buddy. Our friend, we yeah, grew up with her. Kevin you know what, I, she's tiny, I would definitely. Britney Spears. Britney Spears, yeah, oh. I'm so over that. <clears throat> okay, we're in the 90s. Yeah, let's get let's some, jump some to top 10. Let's, thank you. Kate Beckinsale, number ten, yes. dude. That looks like your fiance. That's why you say that. And fuck yes, that's why I say that. Hell yes. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. That's Kristen Bell. She is hot. She's a hot. Is that just a bad picture? Yeah, of her? that's a bad. That's a really bad picture of her. Uh, she's cute. Click, yeah, click on that one. She's like all around cute. Oh yeah, she good is, looking. She's cute. she's cute. She's cute, dude. That was a bad picture. Rihanna, I don't really like Rihanna. I don't know why. I'm not a big fan of Rihanna. No. She does have a distinct Scarlett look Scarlett Johansson, her. first off, you know why I love Scarlett Johansson. Because you love breasts. And she's like, she may have the biggest set of breasts on the planet that are consumable. <laughs> Alessandra Ambrosio. She's hot. I don't know what she is. She's all right. Thank you, Patrick. Oh. I love Anne Hathaway. Anne I'm Hathaway. an Anne Hathaway fan, right here. If she's Anne watches cute. the show, Give me a call. I'll, okay. go, I'll take, go take you out to dinner. Who's this? Oh, that's uh, Keely Hazel. Hazel. I mean, she's a little, obviously just a lingerie model, but she's good at her job. Marissa Miller. Marissa that's Miller. the chick that Heather, it's, she works out at Heather's gym. 
I'm not a fan. She came home and was like, do you know Marissa Miller? these girls are just too dolled up for me. I just want like a plain girl. That's number one? Eva Mendez? I don't think so. Dude, ask men. What the hell? You need to start asking men. You're right, totally. Instead of being a bunch of girls working at a company called <laughs> Ask Men. We're like, doesn't Eva Mendez just have great skin? Let's put her at number one. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm like, what the fuck? And guys are like, I mean, I'd fuck her, but I, right. she wouldn't be my number one choice. I just don't, I haven't seen any that I really am into. She's the Bond girl. This is really bothering me. I almost have to find, oh, where was the Bond girl? The one, Olga. That was the old Bond girl. Now, where's the new Bond girl? I think that's the new Bond girl. Oh, yeah, she's really, yeah, I'm a fan. The new Bond, both Bond girls. Who is the other Bond girl? There were two Bond girls in this movie. In the new movie? I don't know. Dude, the one that that isn't the main character... But it's just like the one. The redhead, the, the one that's like the, the secretary that yeah. he, and then she ends up oh, with the thing. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. that. <laughs> All right, ask me. Yeah, you've not, done an we're okay not job super with. excited about it, but uh, anyway. So now from, uh, from girls to guys. We wanted to keep it fair and balanced. Got to keep it fair and balanced. Sylvester Stallone at 62. 3,063 people dug this story, submitted by Bad with Computer. Stallone has definitely been hitting the gym hard, maybe a little too hard. I don't agree with that. Uh, shouldn't he be getting discount movie tickets and early bird dinners? So uh, Stallone <laughs> is getting ready to do this movie called The Expendable, The Expendables, which is a World War II movie, kind of like The Dirty Dozen, directed by Quentin Tarantino, if I'm getting my movies right. Supposedly going to be amazing. I think like Brad Pitt is in it, Sylvester Stallone, like old school grungy, crazy ass. And there's a picture of Sylvester Stallone. I can't believe that dude is 62. Dude, listen. 62. Listen. I've never been that ripped in my entire life, and I'm more than half of his age. Listen, I love Rocky. <clears throat> I love, love it. Rambo even more. I love it. I am a old school childhood Stallone fan to the yep. core. Yep. Rambo was made me hunt cats in the neighborhood. Dude, Demolition Man. It didn't hurt them, but I pretended like I was going to show Demolition them. Man was epic. Um, I actually enjoyed myself some Judge Dredd. I'm going to throw that out there. But I got to say, hitting the juice, dude. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. He's definitely hitting the juice. Dude, you don't have a body like that Although, at 62 unless you're, number one, getting suction and little like things sucked out. Which he probably is. And number two, that's some little roid action, dude. There's no I don't way. know about roids. At I mean, 62, maybe. Prager. Dude, he did that Let's consult like Pragerpedia. And then he got back to skinny again like that. That was crazy. Oh, I forgot about Copland, yeah. What, what, I mean, roids? He's doing something, but I don't think he, at 62, why would you start doing it? He's smarter. Listen, dude, there's guys, the guys do this stuff. I don't, I obviously don't do it, but I, <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's like. I don't know. I, I, you know what? Here's the thing. I, I, I choose to believe that he doesn't because it seems. Look at his veins, man. Dude, he probably just got done working out. That's the whole point. You know what I mean? Like no, I saw a TMZ thing about him the other day. Somebody sent me. It was like he was like just li- he was gonna lift his car or something. Okay. <laughs> exactly. No, that's, dude. that makes sense. Who comes out? I was like, I'm gonna lift a car. Like you're on. All right. Now that's a little bit of Roy's rage right there. <laughs> like, hey, where's my car? Valet. I'll just move this one. Right. Exactly. But dude, I'm excited for this movie. I'm excited to see Stallone back in action. Yeah, totally. I enjoyed Rambo, the new one. He looks great. Fucking, I am yeah. in. The new I Rambo was pretty good. I just couldn't work. Here's the thing, and it goes back to the Oreo exchange we had before. <laughs> In order to look like that, you have to, it's so much hard work. It's not it's, hard. No, 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 it is hard because to look like that, you gotta be in the gym almost every day. No, I know To put how, on that much muscle weight? Listen, you know how I, I will look exactly like that? Identical? Roids. <laughs> no, no, no. How I look, I will look just like him. If somebody comes up to me and says, Kevin, you know what? I have, we have a time machine. We have a movie for you to do, and we're going right. to pay you $3 million, and you have, you know, eight months to prepare. No, I get that. It's sending I you will say, and, and I, can, I can leave Spider-Man. my day job. I get that. I'm right. in the gym every motherfucking day. But that's the day. thing. That's the thing. That's a hard work. I'm having work. a chef prepare my meals in the morning. It's like, you know, Dude, that's what these guys do. I know, and that is hard fucking work. That's no eating... Bro. Dude, your meals are cooked for you. I know, but you, this shit not, doesn't taste all that good. I don't buy hard work, work as everyone, like, they're like, here's your meal, sir. It's like. Well, not that part. The hard work is, I want McDonald's right now, but I can't have that. I want to go eat ice cream, but I can't have that. Dude, I want to go and eat squirrel blood. Listen. That's not on the list. This is what you do. <laughs> this is what you do. 
when you get a and check, I don't like working out. When, when you get a check for five million dollars to do a movie, you you dedicate one bedroom to hundred dollar bills, and you just blanket the motherfucking room with hundred dollar bills. And every time you're like, I want an Oreo shake, you go and you roll around in your hundred dollar bill room, and you forget about everything else, right? Because you know what? You will get in shape if someone's offering you that much money. That's smart. No, you're you know, smart. Taste buds. It's good. <laughs> After like three months, you will if you don't if you cut oh, yeah. out for three months. It's true. Things get sweeter. You you'll try to have like some candy, and you'll be like, "Whoa, that's fucking." I'll crazy. be like, "Don't give me candy." It's way too sweet. Like your taste buds will shift, and you'll know. Interesting. Longer. Like after three months, you won't crave that kind of stuff. Does that work with women as well? Yeah, just stop having sex with women. You won't crave it. <laughs> no. But good, I should try, I'll try that stuff. Mm. But anyway, so, I, I don't know, I, I, I'd love to look like that, but, you know. Props to him for getting it done. Dude, bro, major props. Anyway. All right, <clears throat> next story of the day, multiple Windows 7 versions coming, question mark? Say it ain't so, 2,380 people like this story submitted by RDSF Flip 863. These pictures supposedly come from a new build of Windows 7 Beta 725. It goes without saying that while we knew this was a possibility, we're, we've been seriously wishing against it. We hope these are fake, uh, and they very well could be, but seriously, Microsoft, don't even think about this. So what's the deal? It's a screenshot showing that you can either install Windows 7 Starter, Windows 7 Home Basic, Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows 7 Business, or Windows 7 Ultimate. I agree. Yeah. Windows 7 is all about making shit easier, getting rid yep. of a lot of bullshit. Yep. Do like copy Mac, one version for everyone, give everyone the full-blown thing. Yep. Maybe give it an option when they install, like you don't want this or you don't want that or whatever. You know, it, or it, I could understand a, a, a home and a business version. Why? Why not just have one version? I don't know. Well, because there's some shit that you don't really need to do businessy stuff, I guess. I don't know what that stuff yeah, but, is. But what I'm saying is... Because I have Windows Ultimate right now and I don't... What I'm saying is shit, when you're in, ultimate. when you're in, exactly <laughs> when you're installing it, yeah. say like you know I plan on using this for my home, so this is the options we recommend you install. I see. But yeah, when yeah. You, the pricing comes out, yeah. don't make me have to sit there at the shelves and be like, oh, okay, Home Basic allows you to do Aero Effects, but it doesn't allow you to do uh, WMAs. You know what I mean? Like I don't right. want to have to do all these trades and balances. Dude, and, I agree wholeheartedly, and I agree with you too that. And first off, we don't know that this is true. We don't. But I also agree with you that Windows 7 seems to be a step in the right direction, and this seems like ignoring the steps that they're taking. Right, exactly. So it almost feels like, if you're going to do this, fucking do it. And see how that is, success-wise. Right. You've done the other thing. You've right. done the convoluted, buggy, twitchy, gippy, you know what I mean? I actually had uh, um, my buddy Jack Castillo, who, who came to our live TRS down in LA, he was, ru is running, was running WoW on Vista, and was getting like 27 frames a second, switched over to Windows 7, same system, and was getting 40 to 45 frames a second. So I'm excited about it because I really dislike gaming on Vista. I think gaming on Vista, just it's just not optimized for it. Yeah. And I feel like that's why I have a PC, is so I can do, I can play games, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. anyway. I agree. So I'm excited to see what, uh, what comes of Windows 7. Maybe I I'll... am too. I am actually excited. And it's, it's the first time where I've been like, I, I don't think I, eh, I don't know if I would ever move back to Windows, but it's the first time where I'm like, damn, it looks so cool. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like for OS well, 10. Well, you can dual boot into it now. I know. Man. I, I, I would that. absolutely do that. But yeah. I'm just saying like in OS 10 for the longest time, I was always like, oh, I have something a lot of people don't. And it yeah. felt good that I had an OS where I thought it was advanced. And then I looked at some of the features in 7. I'm like, damn, I kind of wish some of those stuff was in OS 10, you know? Yeah, well, you never so, know. Anyway. Anywho, well, shall we get to our sponsors before we do our last story, senor? <clears throat> Let's do it. <clears throat> All righty. Um, oh, before we do get into our sponsors, we do want to uh, uh, let you know that we're doing another survey. Mm -hmm. We always love doing surveys. It's great to get feedback from the viewers, you know, to see what we can do, what we're doing right, see what we can do better, and things like that. So if you're interested, head over to revision3.com slash dignation survey, uh, and we really appreciate you uh, uh, checking it out. Um, and a treat, also as a treat for completing the survey, we'll give you a sneak peek at a new show we're working on. Interesting. Mm. I don't even know if I know what that is. Cool. Okay. Cool. Peggy doesn't even know. I know. Sure. He's like, I think, it, like, might ah, I think it might be uh, the rat trapping I show. A couple things. I think I know which one it is because they got cool. a cool. 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 
Also, something we forgot to mention in the show, head on over to revision3.com backslash Adobe Media Player. Download the player and check out the Revision 3 exclusive feed. There you'll find some behind the scenes Dignation footage in there that you may have not seen before. And finally, the Future of Web Apps Conference is back in Miami this year on the 23rd and 24th of February. Speakers include Gary Vaynerchuk, Jason Freed, and Mike Arrington. Go to events.carsonify.com where you'll find all the info on how to buy your pass for the show. And now back to Alex with a special message from... Good Daddy! Uh, your website visitors protects prospects and customers are wary of websites and online businesses that aren't what they claim to be and worried that their personal and financial information might fail in the wrong, fall into the wrong hands. Turn your visitors' concerns into a competitive advantage with the ironclad protection of a GoDaddy.com secure certificate. Everybody get one of those bad boys. Plus, enter the code DIG5 when you check out. Save an additional $10 off any order of $40 or more. So much extra plus these every detail. Get your piece of the internet. Go daddy.kizam. Netflix. Thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Dignation. With Netflix, you can win over 90,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles, with free shipping both ways from your home and to your home. Uh, they now include over 40 shipping centers. So almost all deliveries happen in just one business day. The Netflix plan started... <laughs> 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 the, Netflix, <laughs> the Netflix plan started just $4.99. As a new member, you can get a no-risk free two-week trial membership. Check it out at <laughs> www.netflix.com slash Dignation. Hey, Glenn. And remember to include the www when using this code. Also, back by popular demand, the Captain Burt Monroy Woo. with Pixel Perfect. Uh, learn how to do really cool things with photos, arts, and images on Photoshop, Illustrator, and other cool applications. You can catch full episodes Monday, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. All right, let's get to our last story. Online cake ordering form fail. 3,170 people dug the story submitted by Allocate. Can you guess what happened? Apparently, the printing process is mostly automatic and is printed directly from the website in editable ink. The designer didn't catch it, and they tried to sell it to the purchaser. What? Look at this cake. This cake. <laughs> this cake. This cake was supposed to probably just say, happy birthday to Elsa slash Aunt Elsa. And instead, it added in all this, like, HTML tagging and end if statements. <laughs> Fruel to banging Tom, like I think it's part of the Avanti Al Kant Anti and So they put that on the empty cake? parentheses. This is all printed on the cake. What? And it's clearly a mistake. Look at this. Look at this one. Yeah. <coughs> like, what? It's clearly, clearly has to be a mistake. You can't how does you get where do you buy edible ink from? Uh probably companies. Hmm. Is so they like, probably just have a big printer. Can I get cartridges for that for like my my Canon and then like your Canon? <laughs> you can just lick you. You're like I printed this on my Canon. It's edible <laughs> ink. I just lick it like this, and your whole face is covered. Dude, in I have a little cold. I'm slurring things uh, a certain way today. I don't know if Canon is Canon. because of a cold. <laughs> Hey, uh, Alex, do you have your uh, cannon yeah. there with you? <laughs> can you bring you, uh, you, uh, uh, you so making something on your cannon printer back there? I love that cannon. Oh, it's a great print over there, the cannon. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, I don't think it's a cannon. I think this is a uh, uh, probably a high-end you know, squat over a cake and piss right. ink on it. Oh, the HP uh, cake, squat, squat a pisser lot. Cake 2000, I think. Oh, the Cake 2000. Yes. We should get, fuck, why do we not own one of those? Uh, seriously. How great would it be every time you go to a party? What did you bring? A birthday present? No, I, I made you a cake. You know, it's just a white sheet cake, but it's printed. I wonder if anybody could do that where you could make like a, a little cake machine that would just make you perfect cakes. That be, would just make the cake? Well, like you would pour all the ingredients in, it would like do all the things. You know like bread makers do, but with cakes. I think cake is actually a bread. <laughs> right, I mean. Tried to give him a picture to print. Like, yeah, I remember that. And, picture and printing? They, they like tried to recreate it as art, and it looked kind of funny if you looked up as Yeah, we looked retarded. I, right we, we looked like we were hitting the head with rocks. That's right. But right. it was a great cake. <laughs> anyway, let's get over to our emails. So, first email is a philosophical question for the ages. Sent in by Dan. Dear Alex, Kevin, Hippie, 
Prager, and the rest of the Dig crew. I'm a huge fan of the show and I've been watching Rev3 content since The Broken. I've always loved the strange sexual humor questions that tend to come up on every show, so I figured I would pose one I have been asked by my good friends. Question. If you had to choose between blowjobs or cheese, which would it be? You can only choose one. Some people's answers may surprise you. Next time you guys are in New York for a dig meetup, I'll gladly uh, buy you guys a shot. All the best. Daniel. What do you think? Blowjob cheese for the rest of your life. I don't understand. Well, think, think basically, you could, for the rest of your life, either never have another blowjob or have never cheese? have cheese. No, that's part cheese. That's cheese. No, that's not. Yeah, it is. In this statement, it is. So anything Cheese is, is anything that resembles cheese. cheese, tastes or looks like cheese. String cheese, mozzarella, fried mozzarella, goat, gouda, I mean, gruyere. Oh, God. Right? It's Monster. hard because I love pizza, like we were talking Fuck, about. Fuck, we can't I, never. White, white pizza? White pizza? I, I, I think that I'd go, I'd eat, I'd say cheese. See? That would surprise me. Wow, hippie went with hippie cheese. Hippie went with cheese. Hippie went with cheese. Interesting. What would you go with? Blowjobs. <laughs> Over cheese. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, cheese is great and all, but blowjobs. <laughs> all right? Are we even having this conversation? I'm so genuinely surprised by hippie's cheese. And I love cheese, but come on. I'd rather. I'm gonna go cheese. Put it in. I'm gonna go cheese also. I'm gonna go what? Cheese. Are you guys high? Well, it's, you can do everything. I mean, you never eat cheese for the rest of your life. There's a lot of other things you can how do. How often do you get a blowjob? Yeah. Right. How often do you get a blowjob? Yeah, how often do you get a blowjob? Why not just put it in? First off, blowjob. Put it in. Oh my what? god. Did you just say what I think you just said? Did you just say what I think you just said? <laughs> <laughs> you just you, guys. You, um, I'm surprised I'm the only person who's pro blowjob here. Dude, Should listen. Put a poll on the side? You know what's gonna happen? We could put a poll on the we side. We could put a poll on the side. Let's do that. Blowjobs or cheese on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Here's here's what's gonna happen. I look. Next and time I love on, cheese. We're gonna be sitting here having cheese pizza with fucking pepperoni. We're gonna be eating it, and you're gonna be like, I'm not getting a blowjob right now, and you're gonna be pissed. And we're gonna have our fucking awesome pizza. Yeah, but then I'll be like, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a blowjob. <laughs> Where? We're going to go. Right that here. is not a problem. I don't know what that means. I would figure it out. There, there's no place here. I don't know. Maybe. You're in San Francisco. Girlfriend's in LA. Fiance. Uh, we're, uh, there's telemarketers. I can do stuff. I don't know. All I'm saying is you guys may be a little bit crazy for cheese. And I fucking love cheese. I don't know. Man. I don't, don't want to get into it too hardcore, but I don't. I don't. I just... Yeah, All right, dude, that. no, we'll put a poll up, we'll see what people say. <clears throat> and maybe, the, maybe I'll be the only person who is pro blowjob, and I'm going to start making stickers. <laughs> Let's say, cheese v blowjob. Blowjob. That's what my stickers are going to say. Yeah. All right, next email. <clears throat> this one is awesome. An email of thanks. Hmm. Hey, Kevin, Alex, and everyone at Dignation. I saw my video, Ultimate Cat Jump Failure. Oh, was yes! Was featured on your last Dignation episode, which was a couple ago. Sweet. Thanks to Dig, my cat video has been featured on many popular video hosting sites and even appeared on a popular Italian TV show called Something I Can't Read. And that was, I just can't read that. Right. Uh, and has appeared, viewed by over 20 million people. Wow. Well, I've said enough. Thanks, St. Jimmy. I don't know he calls himself. Yeah. I've included a picture of my cat and its favorite t-shirt to wear when I'm making it wear shirts for pictures. <laughs> By the way, Alex she is right. Is. She is a sexy female kitty cat. Yeah, baby. Dude, there she is with her Dignation shirts. Bro! How awesome is that? The cat jump fail cat wearing a Dignation shirt? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is freaking awesome. You know what that is, folks? Synergy. Isn't that awesome? It looks like the cat's healthy and okay too, which is yeah. great. Although, I think. Yeah, cute, she looks cute cat. Good. It's a cute cat. Okay. I like cats. I need to get a cat. Yeah, cats are good. Yeah, get a cat. Get a cat. All right, we're done. All right, well, if you would like to get your email read right on the show, send it to dignationfans at gmail.com. That is it for this week's edition of Dignation. I'm twitter.com slash Alex Albrecht. Yeah, I'm twitter.com slash Kevin Rose. Until next time, stay chill.